Hey, what is it guys? As I have promised that I will share whatever I learn from my university, the University of Alberta and think that those concepts, those things, those theory uh, could be uh, practically useful for uh, my community, for my people, for my country. So here I am, let's get started. So I have started my winter semester uh, from January 11th and I found the week two study materials and discussion of my winter 2021 semester very persuasive to share with you. This week, me and my other cohorts uh, discuss about a couple of moments that set the stage for our contemporary digital economy and the surveillance capitalism, and discuss about its business model and how it affecting on us. Well, I'll just summarize here my takeout from those discussions and. I'll share with you what I found most important for our own development in our country's perspective. So let's get started. I always like to ask questions like, why does Google offer so many free service? Why? Clearly, it is to create today's dominant online business model. This influences behavioral modification and making the technology addictive just to capture our attention to maximize their profit. I think everyone would agree that they translate human behavior and all our activities they have been tracking into data and feed those data into machine learning activities. So what is at stake? Our creativity, productivity, mental peace, dignity at stake. Some people might argue that social media are facilitating better, cheaper way to communicate. Well, here is the interesting thing. The business model indeed want us to use the platform for a longer time so that they can make us see more advertisement. But the big question what are we receiving in return before social media like Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, Instagram, Emo or whatever is out there. People just made a telephone call, talk about whatever was important and then engaged with their activities, whatever they were passionate about. But now we talk hours and hours for no reason waste our time gossiping or chatting which is no use for productivity and progress in the end we could say that the business model is responsible for creating this distraction to human development so again you can ask why should we care? We are having a cheaper platform to talk each other, communicate each other. Why should we care? Well, this capitalism, this economic system could be defined as surveillance capitalism and it influences our daily lives in every way possible. Social media and big tech companies are trying to make us persuasive to buy their product. They're not doing something to develop their user's life. It looks so disappointing when you see a lot of young people spending their huge amount of time on social media following whatever content they are getting by algorithms, considering them as a trendy activity. Now, therefore, we should care because those are the valuable time of human. The developing countries have only one resource that is the time of their population, the attention of their population. And if the big tech company is taking those time and attention 
from the people who are living in developing country. And you might know that developing country has very limited resource, but they have the population and the time of that population is their resource. So if the big tech company, the social media company, take those time from that people, from that country, then how that country will develop? This is the first thing. And second thing is that we cannot afford to buy a lot of product. We need to make ourselves productive. And third thing, we cannot let them kill our available time by making us see or watch those destructive contents or advertisement to satisfy the third party advertiser the platforms are offering. Last but not least, we cannot let them read our instinctive behavior or activities to offer the same destructive thing to make us stay longer on that social media to see more of those things, the products, you know, the contents. So we cannot let them do it. So it is our country, it is our city, it's not a Google city. What, what kind of city they are talking about? What is Google city? People, it's our people time. You cannot take it. We need that time and attention to develop our economy. You cannot take those time and attention showing them more destructive content. You cannot do it. So we cannot let Google decide anymore what is good in our public space as they are not doing it right. Again, we cannot think of a free and democratic society when we think that human behavior is a legitimate product and that could be sold. We want our children and young generation to experience free world as our previous generation had it. Social media need to be held more responsible for the message promoting hatred, violence and illegality. If we do not stop this, if, if our young generation keep doing this, then the future would be too much difficult and everything will be very uncertain and vulnerable to this things because uh, the young generation would be spending a lot of their time on social media they will not be productive well there you go this is we need to stop this we need to uh, we need to follow some kind of constitution we need to make Facebook following some kind of constitution so that they do not make us addictive to it, do not make us wasting our available time.